My name is Vance, guys, and I'm here to play. You should Zelda. work this out in That's, advance. I don't know how to rap. Uh, this <laughs> is happening, anyways. Whatever. I'm at a temple. We're pot, in. Pot, pot Smashers here. That's Pot Smashers. This is our best intro ever. Um, welcome to the best intro ever. Uh, where's my Webby Award? Your we, Webby? There's yeah. Webbies? Fuck yeah, there's Webbies. Oh. We'll never win one. <laughs> They're notorious. Um,. Don't I just put videos of cats or something and then I win a Webby? Like um, maybe. Should we do that? Where's your cat? Cat. Come over here, cat. My cat is like a true cat where anytime you point I I anything that records at her, she licks her butt. <laughs> She's like, this is good. Gotta do this oh, again. Man. <laughs> Stupid flipper mission. Threw me all over a whack. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I made it to the temple. We're gonna do temple stuff. And the second time we've started an episode in this exact position. Yeah, but this time we're actually going to progress in it because I got some flipping flippers. Progress. Oh, that fish is going to be back. Oh, yeah. No, Vance. Oh, no, dude, I love carrying that fish. We're not doing the fish thing. I love carrying that fish, fish around. Fish. I love carrying that fish. Um, Ciao. Yeah. Got him. Magic powder. Another thing I didn't know when I was playing this as a kid, which makes the game a lot harder. The magic powder? Yeah. Yeah, it's super handy. There's that fish. What if I put magic powder on the fish? Oh, it could be anything. So, um, <laughs> it, it, it you don't it know what it's going to become. Yeah, so here's the temple. We don't need to go this way. Maybe this guy's got something to say. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello, I'm a statue. You know what? I always thought those statues were... Um, See if you can get them in frame. Yeah, I always thought those statues, they were headless and that the shield was actually the head. Oh, that's interesting. it was like sitting down by the side, kind of like the headless horseman. Yeah. They look kind of like Bomberman. Yes. As good as little eyes. Yes, they do. And Bomberman rules. Bomberman is pretty cool. For N64, that game is fantastic. Man, did you see there was like a recent Bomberman redo and they tried to make it like dark and gritty? Ooh. It was just Bomberman. Like, it was the same, like, grid-style game. Just, like, atmospherically, just really dark and... Yeah, it was like a war-torn universe and all this nonsense. And I was like, <laughs> what are you doing? This doesn't make any sense. Just put us in the future and just, just like oh, make a bunch is... of bubbleheads. Like, this... Everything is dark and terrifying. And b b b like, no, I don't need that. Hey, I got a seashell. Well, that was hard. You got a conch. You can now listen to the sounds of the ocean in the water temple. <laughs> now you're the one who has the right to speak. Hey, there's there's no ocean in Hyrule. There's no saltwater body. There's only lakes. Um, yeah, basically. I wonder if that's not um, like if Hyrule is only part of a bigger world. Cause like Hyrule is not an entire planet. It's just this area. How do you know it's not an entire planet? Maybe it's like on um, that mm. that shitty anime, or, or Dragon Ball Z. How there's I like the tiny planet that he like fucking can run around in like an hour or something like that I'm getting crushed by these water bloobs why don't you just go through that door where are you because there's a key and i don't have it so you, i gotta go up here you got it you just picked it up well what's up here oh, i came from <laughs> sorry i got thrown by all the water bloobs flying at me <laughs> got confused just fucking the one door where you're like 10 seconds into this thing. dude that's my that's my jam is avoiding doors that we need to go in come here this stupid thing swing, like shoots fire every time you swing your sword. I'm trying to throw you for a loop. I've also never noticed that. Yeah, dude. It's only when you're swinging. You do what you want, but Damn don't go in front. Damn swingers. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh! That was close. Give me a heart. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, it's a little better. We had those, like, friends that we were introduced to fairly recently. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going to say their names. But uh, there's, I thought they were swingers for sure, oh, yeah. Most, mostly because they like are close talkers. And yeah. Kind of like they get like right up and like it, and they're touchy. They like hold your arms and stuff when you're talking. Yeah. Um. And I mean, like they're just they're interesting and oh, totally. I, I, they're nice people. But uh, at at one point when I first met them, they were like, ah, and can you believe people thought we were swing <laughs> swingers? And I was like, no, no, yeah, I absolutely. can't possibly understand how they would come to that conclusion. I'm currently thinking you're a swinger. <laughs> 
this looks blow upable. But uh, I like that they introduced the idea up front. Like clearly it was something they were addressing. Wait, what? You're not even. Oh. <sighs> this is weird. Why Whoa. is it even there? Why is it even there? Fucking poop came out of that chute. Yeah, dude. That's a poop chute. It's a poop chute. And it's just <laughs> swimming around. <laughs> it's like a living poop. It's like you eat too much sushi. Ew. That doesn't happen. Sushi's dead. <laughs> it's raw. It's dead, though. Oh, man. Look at the oh, graphics. It's coming right for me. Dude, the, the, the cutscenes are unreal. Cutscene schmutzine. Who needs cutscenes? Um, no one actually I firmly am against cutscenes like you you try to play like a Metal Gear Solid game or something Oh my god, like, could I just play the game? That'd be great. Yeah, I want to play I, and play I, the thing Turns out I spent this money so that I can do stuff with the controller. No, you just want to watch No, so. which tongue is it this one? No, it's Not a different neither. tongue um, Oh, hey, like open uh, yeah. Ratchet and Clank too. like they, they made that movie out of it now Oh yeah? Did you, did you see this? It just came um, out? Oh yeah, I did see that. Uh, I didn't see the movie, I saw that it exists. Yeah. Uh, it's getting like absolutely super panned. Well, yeah. Yeah, and it's <laughs> like, well, why did you guys make a movie out of this in the first place? Like, it... Now it used to be we make g movies into video games and now we're doing it the other way around. And it's like, no, something's really lost in the translation there. One thing I don't understand just, when it came to video game movies Besides, like, um, besides the Mario Brothers movie, which was a just a horrible disaster. Oh, I loved it. Did you? I loved it. Have you seen it? Will recently? Hench for food at the very end. Oh, oh man. my god, it was so so bad. It's good. It's terrible. <laughs> um, but besides that one, like, the next batch of video game movies were all fighting games. Oh yeah, it's uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I like the Mortal Kombat movie. I think it's good. I don't mind it, but. Like, why would they make fighting games into movies? I don't know. Like, of all the options you have, of all the games that have, like, plot lines and stories, <laughs> yeah. you pick a fighting game where you play as a specific character to beat folk up, <laughs> and then that's it. And there's no plot there. <laughs> hey, uh, but would you own a bison buck if they didn't do that? Um, nope, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. So, wait, why don't you just tell us about bison bucks? Because I think that bucks? it's a hilarious idea. Bison bucks? Um, well, from the movie Street Fighter. Yeah. In, like, 1994 or whatever it was. Where's this fucking door? Down here, maybe? Yeah. This looks interesting. Um, nope. Street Fighter from 1994. Street Fighter 1994. John claude Van Damme playing Guile, <laughs> the ultimate American. And also everybody's favorite Street Fighter character. Not, you know, any of the other characters that everyone loves. Um... And Blank is just a dude in green paint. That's fun. <laughs> um, it's a terrible movie. It was Raul Julia's last movie. He was Gomez Adams. He was also many other things. And a super talented actor. And he went out on a... It's the last thing he did before he died. Giant poop of a movie. Giant poop of a movie. Hey, a compass. Now Wait, I can pinpoint... I, the... How did that... Where was the... Why did pushing the block... It was there. Who... It's hidden. Uh... You couldn't see it, but it was there. Okay, so did I go in here yet? I don't think so. Yeah, I totally did. Totally did. I gotta go in a different one. Did. Ooh, see that six sideways jump. Fish. Okay, uh, now I can go in this key door. That's not fish. That's a poop. Eh, it's, it could be a fish poop. A little poop fish. Um. So yeah, bison bucks. Fucking. <laughs> M. Bison is the main villain of that movie. In the same way that he is of the game. Yep, uh, and then you, he like wants to take over the world and invent his own country, and he makes his own currency called Bison Bucks, and he just prints up a bunch of them. Throw a bomb. Um, so I had a friend who, uh, his dad was a set designer, and he worked on the Street Fighter movie, and uh, so he like when he left, he just took all these Bison Bucks. So he gave me a Bison. Ah! Uh, didn't work. Off to the side. Throw them over the. Yeah, blue over the block. blue. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, he had all these bison bucks. So he gave me... God damn it! He gave me a bison buck. Now I have it framed because it's awesome. Yay! Um, you did it! And I'm a weird pop culture weirdo and I like stupid things. No, I think that's cool. I have, I have a mug which, that's in a James Bond movie. And it makes me happy. That's cool. Yeah. What's, which mug is it? It's that one right there. 
Oh, cool. <laughs> Viewers, you can't see it, but I'm pointing to something on my he's, shelf. He's pointing. It's over there. So, yeah, it's on Money Penny's desk. Neat. Yeah. What fun. Uh, Memorabilia. Swim. It's funny because I'm not normally into, like, I don't care about that kind of stuff. I usually have trinkets and whatever kicking around. I'm pretty minimalistic in that regard. What? You, you're, you've got a fucking plastic Robocop on your shelf. Because well, my wife bought it for me. Oh. She's like, he likes Robocop. <laughs> oh, we should play the Robocop game. No. Any of them. No, we shouldn't. Why? Because I'm committed to playing some good games after Bubsy. That's why. I'm committed to playing... What makes you think it's not a good game? One, it's based on Robocop. Robocop's amazing. <laughs> No. Robocop's my favorite damn movie. It's just excellent. <laughs> Is Robocop really your favorite movie? It's up there. Of all all the movies that you could, like... Uh, yeah. He's Metal Jesus. <laughs> he's killed. He comes back from the dead to save humanity. Specifically Detroit. From, uh... <laughs> all How's that working things. out for him these days? I don't think Detroit's a great place. Well, you'll notice he's not around anymore. And look what happened to Detroit. Fucking... Push it to the side! <laughs> I'm trying, but there's water everywhere. Push it to the side! Just sh bullet hell shit flying around. Bullet uh, hell. Oh, ah, shit. Oh, now you've done it. I don't have any fairies, do I? This might be the end for Vance. Find an anti-fairy. There's none. This might be the end for Vance. No, you no. got this. Run! He's coming to get me. Close. Yes. Shut Here. the jaws of oblivion. Close them. Close them. Them jaws is too wide open. Ooh, maybe this guy wants to give me a heart. Nope, just magic. Magic. For your magic All hammers. the magic I use all the time. Yeah. I haven't used a magic item this entire time. Okay. It's just... Uh, cool. Almost did it. It was well, close. That's fine. Thanks for watching us. Um, it's game over for me. I really love that game over animation. It's it's actually a real consolation prize. When he like spins around and falls over? No, like when the game over comes out. Oh, just yeah. like all slides and then it like shuffles itself. Looks pretty good. I like the uh, Zelda 2 game over. It flashes all red, scares the shit out of you. And then the like, shadow of Ganon shows up and he laughs at you. You're oh, like, you fucker. Really? Every time I got game over in Zelda 2, it looked like a hard crash where the screen went all garbly because that game is shit. Ah, it's not so bad. It's really bad. Nah. Not I've as bad as Skyward Sword. Or this one. Bye.